uh, you can now have three meals in a day but still you can pray the way you used to pray you can do your prayer and fasting can you be able to handle the kind of the blessing of that you are praying for because this younger brother now in this text uh, exemplifies this situation because after he got the blessing uh, he just changed praise the name of God uh, people can be so nice to you uh, when they know there is something they can receive from you but what happens when the same people now they are in a place where they can have everything they need will they still walk into the loyalty will they still walk into the humility now it couldn't be justice at all in this sermon today if we will not tackle the doctrine of Balaam the doctrine of Balaam is a doctrine of uh, uh, in the book of the Chronicles uh, dealing with the revelation of the Bible that defines this doctrine as a doctrine that God hates God Heads a doctrine of Palam so much that he ain't in the business to sponsor it. Ah, he hates it because the doctrine of Palam is always preempted unto the concept of Satan, where the Satan has a tendency of cursing the children of God who are blessed because it is Balaam now who seeks the help of Balak so that Balak can release a curse unto the anointed children of God. Ah, praise the name of God. But the Bible says as Balak went through the book of enchantments, he couldn't find any spell to cast unto the children of Israel. And that's why you are still standing here in a, in a Eternity City Church. There are people who have been brought down by the witches in the same village. But you are standing still because the anointing of God is upon your life. And that's why there is nothing the witches can do to you. Someone say we are going to create today because we have been anointed. Now I was trying to find out the meaning of the word blessing want you to follow me what does this mean when we say someone is blessed the blessing does not mean money blessing does not mean the things you have it's not the kind of the car you are driving it's not the kind of the house you are living in uh, when we say someone is blessed we are talking about that a force there is a divine force of favor that rests on this person. A man's blessing is not into the abundance of the things that he possesses. A blessing goes beyond anything that is material. That's why when you are walking into this force, even without anything in your pocket, you can still say, I am a blessed child of the Almighty God. The word blessing now, if I was to define it. I can pick what we call happy because we have a tendency of thinking that people are blessed must always be happy. But happy is not even close to what it means by being blessed. Allow me to differ here by saying you can be blessed when nothing is happening around you. You don't need anything to happen around you for you to be blessed. That's why even as you cry, Ah, the weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Ah, when you are going through the weeping, you don't need to lose the morale and the vibe of who you are when you know you are blessed. Praise the name of the living God because you know the joy is coming in the morning. Being blessed is ability to succeed over the adversities when you have the ability when you have the uh, 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 the power to succeed in the midst of the people who doesn't like you you just know you are blessed let me demonstrate here and then let me make you understand when you know the lord whom you are serving when you know that he is mightier mightier than those who are against you you can walk in a room full of the people who doesn't like you with your head up saying I know my redeemer lives 
earth. I know who I am. I know where I'm going. I know weapon fashioned against me is going to prosper. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I came in now to tell you that even the way you are seated down there, you carry the blessing of the Almighty God with you. And that's why you have been sustained in the year 2020.